Today, I'll show you just some of the money one government agency gave to BLM, the Anti-Hate Network, and the BC Civil Liberties Association. Trudeau gave them cash to swear his allegiance, to vilify his enemies, and to buy their silence. I have attended protests and rallies in the past uh, when I agreed with the goals, when I supported the people uh, expressing their concerns and their issues. Black Lives Matter is an excellent example of that. But I have also chosen to not go anywhere near protests that have expressed hateful rhetoric, violence towards fellow citizens. Remember that clip? That's Justin Trudeau swearing allegiance to BLM, the group behind large-scale protests that shut down major cities in Canada. And in the United States, BLM caused looting, rioting, arsons, and violence. Yet Trudeau calls the peaceful convoy street party with bouncy castles, music, free food, and anthem singing a fringe minority. Remember this? The small fringe minority of people who are on their way to Ottawa or who are uh, holding unacceptable uh, views. But Justin Trudeau didn't just swear his allegiance publicly to Black Lives Matter, as I showed you in that clip off the top of this video. He sealed his loyalty to BLM with your money in the form of a grant. But he didn't just give money to BLM, he gave it to a group that he weaponized to surveil and paint his political enemies as racist, which they're doing right now. And he also gave it to an organization that was supposed to stand up for civil liberties, which explains why they didn't stand up when Justin Trudeau just stomped all over them. Today's information comes to us by way of an order paper response from the government to a question asked by Quebec Conservative MP Pierre Paul Hus, who wanted to know about the advance payments being made to organizations by the federal government. And buried way down in the response was the reply from the Canadian Race Relations Foundation. Did you know that such a government agency existed? Now we should pay attention to them because they are loudly saber rattling for online censorship. And the government is going to do it with their new harmful online content law. And as you know, harmful means anything that liberals don't like hearing. Okay, let's take a look. June 11th, 2021, BLM Canada received 8250 bucks from Trudeau. So he's not just a supporter, but he's also forcing Canadians to support his favorite causes now too, as he did with the WE organization. Next one, May 14th, 2021, the Canadian Anti-Hate Network, already a recipient of hundreds of thousands of dollars in government grants to identify and vilify critics of the Liberal government and masquerade as experts on the CBC and other media outlets about how bad the convoy is and to also spread hate hoaxes. Anyway, they received an additional 6000 bucks from the Race Relations Foundation. Last one. And this one, once I saw it, it explained so much to me because I have wondered where the heck the BC Civil Liberties Association has been for the last two years while churches were closed by the state, protesters were harassed by cops, families were prevented from gathering, and businesses were forced closed. These are all serious civil liberties violations. And why hasn't the BCCLA said anything about the coming internet censorship by the Liberals? Why did the BCCLA not fire their director when she said to burn down Catholic churches during a summer when dozens were set ablaze across Canada? Well, this grant here explains it all. $10,000, March 25th, 2021, from the Race Relations Foundation. If you have been paying attention, this all just explains so much. For Rebel News, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed. At Rebel News, we give you plenty of free content that you won't see anywhere else. But if you would like to go one step further and support the work that we do here at Rebel News, might I suggest investing in a subscription to our premium content? Just go to rebelnewsplus.com and you'll get access to my show, The Gun Show, Ezra Levant's nightly Ezra Levant show, David Menzies' fun Friday night show, Rebel Roundup, Andrew Chapados' show, Andrew Says, and a brand new show called Misunderstood by Kat and Nat. It's only eight bucks a month to subscribe. Again, just go to rebelnewsplus.com to become a member.